So hi guys. So in this video, what we are going to do is like we are going to integrate uh, Git with Jenkins and uh, check out our code to Jenkins and along with that we are going to set web triggers. So like as as soon as we will commit the code, the job will get triggered automatically. So let's see how to do that. So for that, what we need to do is like we need to go to our repository. Okay. So in our repository, we have one option setting. So we need to go inside setting. In setting, we need to click on the webhook option here on left side. And here we need to add webhook. So here we need to provide the URL of the Jenkins. So uh, let's see what is the URL of our Jenkins. So this is our URL of Jenkins. We need to copy and we need to paste it here. After this, we need to write git hub hub hyphen webhook webhook and slash. So this is the format we need to provide. So after writing this, I will be keeping uh, just the push event and rest. And here I will be keeping in like a, a default option. Okay. Or else we can keep it in JSON also. Doesn't matter. So and rest of the thing I will leave it uh, default and I will add webhook here. So as we can see, like webhook got created here. So now what we will do? Now we will come to code. So now we have set the webhook trigger. Now let's go to Jenkins. Okay, and we'll start creating one pipeline. So for that, what we need to do is like we need to click on new item, and we need to give name here. Okay, job name, and we need to select which kind of job we want, either pipeline or freestyle or multi branch pipeline. So we'll go with pipeline. We'll click OK. Now we'll select the build trigger. So here we have to select the GitHub trigger. So this one we'll select it. So after selecting this, as soon as like we will commit the code uh, to GitHub, the job will get triggered. This job will get triggered automatically. After that, we have to come to this pipeline, and in this space, we'll start writing the code. So uh, the first line of the code will be like pipeline. Pipeline. Next, we need to uh, provide agent. And agent we will give any because anyway we have only one agent, so it will build on the master itself. So and after that, what we will provide will provide stages, first stages, and under stages we need to provide the first stage. So first stage we will give the name. So the name will be like uh, code checkout. Check out and under this, we need to provide step. And the steps now we need to provide a uh, uh, like code which will fetch the code from the GitHub. So, for that, what we will do, we will uh, generate that snippet of the code. So, for that, we need to click on this pipeline syntax. And in this pipeline syntax, we need to go with a snippet generator. And in this one, we need to select Git. After selecting Git, here we need to provide the repository URL so that we will copy from our uh, GitHub account. So we, we need to copy it from here. We need to come to our Jenkins. We need to paste it here. And then we need to write here branch. So our branch is main. And as it is a public repository, we need to provide credentials. And we need to click on generate pipeline script. So this script will help us to fetch the code from Git. We need to come here and need to provide inside steps. So now uh, the code is written, like first stage of the code is written. Now we'll check once again and we'll apply and we will save it. So first time we'll simply run manually and we'll check whether our uh, code is getting fixed and the uh, code is correct. So as we can see here, uh, job is running. We can see the logs so yeah uh, our job was successful and code got fetched into jenkins server so guys now we are going to check uh, our webhook whether our webhook is working or not so for that we need to uh, commit the code to github so let me make one small change here simply i will write this and let's see 
and I will commit it to Twitter. So for that, I need to save it. After that, I need to commit it. Now I need to push it. So I will push this code to GitHub. So as you can see, now code is pushed. So let us see whether uh, job is getting triggered or not. So guys, as you can see here, job is getting triggered automatically. Yeah. 